Hi there, my name is Simon and welcome to my garage in Denmark. Not that long ago, or six, seven months ago, I upgraded my scan tool. I bought a Top Down Phoenix Plus. And it is definitely an other price level than my previous scan tool, which were, which were the iCarsoft CR Max or Launch 919. You might have seen my reviews. But they are scan tools in the price range of four, 500 euros. And in that um, price range, even though they look different fundamentally, it is my experience they are actually very similar to each other. I upgraded to this one because I felt sometimes a lack of compatibility with the, the readings that the iCarsoft should do. I was simply not able to read the brake electronic on my Suzuki Swift, as an example. And I also missed the topology map, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to show you what that is in two seconds. This scan tool from Top Down, it's, uh, it cost almost $900, so it's actually double the price as yeah, my previous ones. So it was quite a chance uh, thinking that it would be that much better, that it's actually worth double. But uh, the fast answer to that is, yes, it is. I'm very impressed with it and I'm going to show you exactly why. The scan tool itself uh, has a 10 inch screen and it has a very responsive screen as well. It has a good handle on the back side. You can hang it on the steering wheel. Uh, it of course comes with Bluetooth. I love that. It's fantastic. Um, and in general, it seems very well built. Um, it comes in this big box. And when we open it, it has different connectors, cables, extension cord to the Bluetooth dongle. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I actually did a review of the ex more expensive iCarsoft product. It's called the CR Ultra. And when I got this in my mailbox, I opened it and I said, it's the fucking th same thing. It just says top down on it. It looks exactly the same. But uh, luckily, the software were different and it was working faster. It seems very different though. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to connect it to my Mustang mach -E because I assume if you're looking at a scan tool in this price level with this quality, whatever, you might actually have a real workshop. You're not just an amateur like I am standing in a little garage. So. Uh, you could expect actually getting newer cars as well. So it makes sense seeing how does it handle them. But uh, enough talk. I have the tendency to do that. I'm going to hook it up to my Mustang mach -E and we're just going to go through and see how it reads the control units. Uh, control units and yeah, I'm going to give you a grand tour. So let's uh, jump to it. Okay, before I continue, uh, I mistakenly said uh, 900 dollars. It is in euro. It is 900 euro, so a little bit more actually. And there is a, a not every second year you need to subscribe to get the updates, but the first two years are for free. You can continue to use the scan tool, but then you'll simply not receive the upgrades. If you do have a real workshop, of course. Uh, the 500 dollars uh, is is not much, uh, you could say, but as an amateur, you don't need to upgrade it unless you really just want the, all the updates. Okay, so I have it started up immediately now, and uh, this is what the menu looks like. And I want to start by something which is really, really nice. You have uh, the browser here immediately just by pressing the, the, the Chrome. So it's kind of a quick access to that. And that is, in my opinion, very nice. You have it up here in the corner. Before we start scanning the car, I just want to bring, uh, go uh, through. We have the service functions, and I think there are 40 to choose from. Of course, be aware that they are not meant for, or intended for all cars. I have people uh, writing me once or twice every week regarding service functions. Why doesn't it uh, work on, on my car, and why can it not uh, Yeah, a particle filter clean that, and blah, blah, blah. The service functions, they are not for all cars if the, uh, yeah, that's how it is. But anyway, it has it. 
and the ADAS is a big thing also. Um, so if you have a real workshop and you have to calibrate the cameras of the car, there is even the adjustment steps right here. And uh, yeah, uh, can do that. The Top Down Phoenix Plus is uh, like the CR Ultra from iCarsoft. You can buy extensions to it. You can buy a battery tester. You can buy an oscilloscope, a temperature measurement device as well. And perhaps even more, you need to visit Top Down's website to see. Uh, in my opinion, the oscilloscope, I think it really makes sense if you're using that frequently, because then you would have it all in, in one equipment. That's very nice. Uh, you can get online help uh, through TeamViewer if that's needed. Um, we have the library here. And yeah, it's quick access. You can see YouTube, Facebook, Chrome. But also if you're using auto data, even Diagnose Dan, he's awesome. His uh, DDTSP is there as well, tech data. So you can basically just log in and you have all the vehicle information that you want. When you're working on the car, you have it on this device, it's nice. History, uh, it can be a little confusing to use that. We have the a file list here, uh, different files from the cars. And uh, if you have a data stream, it would be here. It could look like a data stream, which has been saved here under my Suzuki, some data logging. You can uh, access it right here. Diagnostic reports, what you've been working on, and you can have a quick access immediately. Let's have to see what it looks like. So here we have uh, that report, and it sums up in the bottom if there are any DTCs. And they are, of course, highlighted here. Climate control, and we have data bus here. Diagnostic record. There you will have a quick access. If it's the same car you're doing again, you can access it immediately. Um, yes, that's basically it. User information and yeah, I can just show you. Um, if you have business, you can write whatever that is, profile and stuff like that. I also want to tell you that I, the, the dongle is of course in the car right now and it has a good connection to it and I'm three meters away and the door is also closed. I don't know if it makes it a change. So the connection between the scan tool and the dongle is actually quite good. I'm gonna press auto scan. Yeah, it found my Magi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a scan and even though it might start, yeah, I want to show you because that kind of makes me nervous when it's making those glitches, but it just does that and it, it still works very fine. Yeah, so here we have the topology map and I don't think I need to mention much about it, but basically it's the electronic control units which are in the car and how they are which kind of protocol they are following or using. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna press smart scan and you can see it does it very, very fast immediately actually. Now this is not necessarily because of the scan tool itself. Yes, it has a good processor, but uh, you could uh, scan an older car which have uh, use, which uses more uh, slow protocols like older protocols now this uh, than the Magi and then it will take more time to read them. That's just how it is. It's not necessarily the fault of the scan tool. If your car is being read slowly, it's simply because the protocol from that particular ECU is a little more slow. So what we can actually do, we have uh, two errors here. Let's go into this. Is it the camera? No, yeah, image processing module, there is uh, an error on that one. And what you notice is I just pressed immediately on the, on the icon here and we can press enter. So now it looks very similar to other scan tools. Let's just read the... Uh,
I'm going to read it. It takes a little time. Here we have it, and it says it's continuous. So what we can do now is we can make a code search, search or even look at data stream. So I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna go out again. And we can see if there are any special functions related to this electronic control unit. And special functions is a like bi-directional control, but it is of course linked to the input that this ECU gets or output for that matter. Yeah, we have the actuation test as well here. Now let's go back and look at this one. Power steering control, it's the same and we can basically access it again. I don't wanna do that, but we can press now here as a system list and you will get a more, how to say, uh, a normal overview of all the electronic control units which has been scanned. And it's the same way we can just enter again. And you're immediately in there. Then I want to go and show you the common functions. It's basically service functions, but which are specifically for this one, for this car. So let's say I would like to add new parking uh, disc brake pads on my on my rear disc, so I have to retract the electronic uh, parking brake. I can actually do that. So I can basically release or apply or release or apply on, on which one or both at the same time. And I can go into initialization where I can retract the caliber completely, as an example. Uh, I was supposed to do brake bleeding, it of course can do that also. So the good thing about choosing the functions which are the common function is that then they fit the car, basically. We have once again the ADAS, the calibration and, and module programming. There is only uh, this. And uh, so depending if you need to add a new control module it needs to be programmed, um, then uh, you can do that as well. So basically you have all the features like you would have in a real workshop, uh, Ford workshop. So what we can do now is just make a report. Just gonna call it that. And uh, yes, and it's gonna generate the report. And then I can go find it in the, I think history, which I showed you before. That was about it. I hope you liked this little uh, review or walkthrough of my Top Down Phoenix Plus. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to write or comment if you would like me to do more tests with it so you can have an even more thorough look at it. Enjoy and stay safe. Bye.